Welcome collectors and hobby enthusiasts. Thank you so much for joining me for another Diecast Emporium video. Today's video is going to be very similar to the video that I filmed yesterday, and that is the top three models that I would recommend a new collector get when they join our hobby. However, the difference is this one focuses on paving models. So if paving is your thing, if you enjoy road construction and cat paving products, then this is certainly the video for you. Whereas yesterday's video was a basic, generic overview of taking a look at the entire product line by Diecast Masters, Cat Models in 150th scale, and picking out what I believe were the three best choices for a collector getting into the construction hobby overall. Again, this one focuses in on the cat paving products. So, very similar to how we did the last video. And again, if you haven't had a chance to watch that, look at your top of your screen right now. I will post a suggested link for that, and I strongly encourage you to watch that video first before you continue on watching this video. But again, we're going to go in decreasing order. So here are, without further ado, the top three 150th scale Diecast Masters cat paving models I would recommend a collector get when they first join our hobby. So here we go. Number three, item number 85595. This is the Caterpillar CP, CB rather, 13 tandem vibratory roller with cab. So there are two versions of this roller. So that you have this version, uh, which is item number 85595, like I said, but there's also another one, 85594, that has the ROPS version where this has an enclosed style cab. In all other aspects, the casting and the model is pretty much identical. So really, it just comes down to whether you like your rollers to have enclosed cabs or the more traditional style open cabs that you would see uh, here more often than not here in the United States. But the reason that I chose to show this one out of the two is for this simple fact right here. You can take the top off and you can put your operator figure, which is included, uh, down into the operator seat of this roller. And again, there are some nice detailing, uh, nice details all around the inside of this, whether it's the joysticks, the seat, or the instrument panel, uh, which again is decaled up. So simply by taking the top off and popping it back on, you can put your operator figure in the roller. It rolls really, really well, helped along by its really quite substantial weight which is really what you want in a roller and uh, it works well here again you can articulate it as well and you can offset it to some degree too smaller details again always you have your warning and tie down decals the cat logos are always crisp on these models so there is the number three choice the cat cb13 uh, tandem drum vibratory asphalt roller. Moving on and transitioning to my number two choice. And again, very similar to the roller. This one, this model, it, it basically there's two variations. You can have the one that you're going to see right now, which has rubber tracks, or you can purchase the AP600F, uh, and that has rubber tires. So the AP655F, which is what you're seeing, this has rubber tracks. The AP600F has rubber tires. Again, basic model is pretty much the same, and they both feature what I think is really a very cool design feature because going back to the Norscott days over a decade ago, Norscott did some pavers, and they did four different versions. They did tracked and wheeled versions, but then they did those versions with canopies and without for a total of four different models. What Diecast Masters has done is they've kind of cut out the middleman and just given you two options, but you can put the canopy on or you can take the canopy off. Again, pick your poison, whatever you think uh, mirrors what you see around your area or what you would rather have to display, but it doesn't stop there. If you look here at the exhaust, they give you two different exhaust options because really the way the exhaust exits the machine is dependent on whether or not it has a canopy on it or whether it doesn't have the canopy on it. So this one is curved because obviously if it was straight up and down, it would gas everybody out. That's not generally what you want to have happen when you're trying to get a job done. So you can have the, what I call the slanted exhaust when the canopy is on, 
or the more traditional style straight up and down exhaust when there's no canopy uh, involved. So again, just a couple different really cool little details that Diecast Masters thought of that really helps the immersion and the realism factor of these pavers. As far as the screeds, this part right here, and again, this video is primarily targeted for beginners of our hobby. So a lot of these things that I'm explaining, I know you guys know uh, what they are for those that have watched this channel for years and have been collectors for years. But again, this is targeted towards people that may want to get into our hobby. So your, your screed, this part back here, which lays down the mat, uh, which is act the actual part of the paver that the asphalt comes down out of, that extends outward, as you can just see uh, right there. And also it goes up and down very cool feature and also the controls are detailed as well both up here and then down here if you wanted to see what the underside of the paver looks like there you go there's your material spreading auger here's your basic conveyor belt that again would take the material back towards through the paver through the auger and then out toward the screed your rubber tracks do move as you can see here and if we start towards the front of the machine, or rather finish towards the front of the machine, you can see that the hopper folds in just like that to help dump the remainder of the material onto the belt. So again, a lot of the same features that are on a real paver have been implemented on the 150th scale version. So very cool, and I think it scores very high marks there. So that is the number two choice. Drum roll, please. And I know that if those of you that have watched this channel and know me for years, or this is not going to be any surprise whatsoever. The number one choice, if you want a paving model by Diecast Masters in 150th scale, here it is. So this is the PM622. Uh, again, very similar to the paver and the roller. There are two versions of this model, basically the only difference being the decals. This is the PM622. There is a PM822 if you want to go slightly larger. Um, again, the basic casting is the same. The only difference is the decals. This is a really unique piece of machinery because this is actually what's used first before the paver and the roller come in. This is used to eat up or mill the old asphalt, and it goes straight up through your conveyor belt here and out the top and into a waiting dump truck. So again, very specialized piece of equipment here, but these milling machines or these planers, there's a bunch of different names for these, but once you, and, and I'm sure if you've been on the highway or the throughway, or even if you live in a large city, you've seen these machines, they're really quite fascinating to watch and they're really cool. So again, a lot of the real features of the, of the real coal planers have been implemented in these models. Um, I already showed you that the conveyor belt will discharge into a truck. This is another little working feature, and that's the opening engine cover, so you can get a good look at the details of the engine inside, or if you're posing the machine having some maintenance done on it, that's always another good option. Uh, unlike the paver and the roller, these machines come with our operator figure permanently affixed. Uh, obviously, you can remove him with some pliers if you would like to do that. I never recommend doing that, but that is an option for you. And he is in, instead of being seated, like we see in almost every other Diecast Masters model, he's actually in the standing position uh, because, again, that's how you would really operate one of these in the real world. Coming over here, again, very similar on this side. Here is your milling drum, and the all of these individual little cutting teeth are tungsten carbide teeth, and uh, they're actually quite sharp on the model, so really well done there. This machine is also excellent at getting into really, really narrow uh, turning radiuses. So you can have the machine turning really at a tight angle or even a crab steering if you want to do that, similar to how you might see a crane sometimes. Uh, again, just very cool, all of the working features that have been implemented on this particular uh, model. So also wanted to show you guys that there's another piece on over here that opens on the side to get another look at the side of the engine. Just a lot of working features on this, and they really did a great job getting it all in. Last thing that I'll show you is our conveyor belt here. This can be folded up for transport, just like this. 
So if you wanted to have it on a low boy, you can fold up the conveyor belt and uh, lower it more so it will fit nicely on a low boy. So there you have it, collectors. Those are my choices, my opinion. Top three must-buys if you are into cat paving products. Again, number three, the CB13 roller. Number two, the Cat AP655F paver. And number one, which you can already see in your screen, the Cat PM622 Colt Planer. So you can purchase all of these models from your favorite authorized Diecast Masters distributor. They are all part of the Highline series, which means currently at the date that I am filming this video and the date that it goes live, uh, they are all still available so that you don't really have to hunt these down. They're not very difficult to find. So that's always a good thing. But you guys let me know down in the comment section below which of these models you own, which of them maybe you've never seen before, or which of them you would like to purchase. And maybe if I left something out, uh, what paving model would you have put in here that uh, perhaps I overlooked or I chose not to include in this. As always, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't yet, please hit the like and subscribe button so you never miss another video. And until next time, take care, be safe. I'll see you in the next review.